And welcome back, everybody, to a, another Rainbow Six Siege stream. Today, we are doing, as you can probably tell by the title, an 80 pack opening. Now, this includes both Alpha Packs and the leftover Outbreak Packs that I was meaning to get. So, I got the whole collection of Outbreak Packs now, which we opened 23 last time. We're going to open the rest today, as well as about, like, 53... Other ones? Yep, 53 regular alpha packs. So together, that's about 80. Well, it is 80, not about 80, but it is 80 alpha packs that we're going to be opening. No, alpha outbreak packs, rather. Well, we're going to be doing that first, but as you could also tell by the initial stream title, that is the last day of outbreak. We have, as you can see down here, 17 more hours to go of outbreak. Uh, granted, it'll seep into a little bit of tomorrow, but by the time, you know, I'll be doing stuff tomorrow, I'm I'm fairly certain that it will be completely gone. So, for me, this is the last day of Outbreak. I'll probably upload the, you know, actual video to YouTube when it is the actual last day. But anyway, let's go ahead and just get right on into these Alpha Packs. Well, look at me one second. I have something to monitor my sound to make sure that I am coming through well enough for you guys. Check, check, check. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's just go right on in to the elk break pack since we basically already know what's in here, but we don't know in which order in particular. These ones are the ones that are going to be on like by chance. So we're going to go ahead and open these guys. Let's go ahead and see what we got in this one. Oh, 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 oh. It's a legendary. Nice. What did we get? All right, sweet. We got the legendary outfit for Lion. Pretty nice. I think we're still going to be using him, even though he's going to be getting a uh, severe nerf next uh, in the next update or whatever. You know. I don't need, really need to go into it. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what I'm talking about. You've probably seen a lot of what's been talking about the nerfs with everything, as well as like the recoil adjustment, you know, so on and so forth. Ooh, purple. What'd we get? Nice. The headgear for glass. That's cool. It's got a nice little patch on the side for him. That's pretty cool. And what do we got? Oh, I don't think we had the outfit for Buck yet. We've been mostly using the uh, the the headgear. Nice. Let's see what do we got in this one. Okay, now we have the uh, new headgear for Lion. Not bad. I'm still gonna be using the base gas mask one because it's a lot cooler looking. But you know, it's nice to have it. The, uh, nice. What do we got in this one? Ooh, purple. Okay, the decontamination outfit for Capcan. So I won't be using many of the decontamination outfits except for, like, for offense. Because why not? They're going to see me coming anyway. Like, for defense, it wouldn't make much sense because you're making yourself into a bright yellow fucking target. But for offense, I could do it. See, I could rock this, even though it looks goofy on the top of her head. Looks like she's got a muffin up there. But we can definitely rock this. Because she's not wearing those glasses. So she doesn't look, you know, fucking goofy. She's kind of cute without the glasses on. I'm going to be real with you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the thermite one. See, a lot of people were like, why is he still wearing his thermite goggles underneath his mask and it's like you guys got to realize that on his um you know his gadget the stuff is still making the sparks and he's wearing welding glasses so that way that doesn't hurt his eyes like it's hurt his hands you know because his hands are all fucked up so that's why he's wearing the goggles underneath if that makes any sense now let's see what we got next it's loading so we might not be able to see what it is exactly. Oh, it's a blue. What do we got? I actually really wanted this headgear because it is unique for a you know, hazmat headgear. Because it's got the, her little visor in there, which is really cool. 
it's like integrated into it because you can tell by the little indent right above her nose there see like right there it's super cool and it has her name written on the uh on the chin part there that's pretty cool see i will probably use this headgear because it is pretty cool not changing the outfit though that outfit's badass okay now we got this for uh Zofia. it's pretty cool I may or may not use it. I don't know yet. I kind of like the uh, like the ruggish aesthetic that I have for. Her. What's in this one? Doc's outfit. So we do already have the uh, legendary headgear for Doc that we had in the last pack opening that we did for this at the beginning of the uh, the season. This is pretty cool. I may or may not use this. In all honesty, I did say I wouldn't use it for most defenders, but it's fucking Doc. I mean, there's not really that much yellow on him. So it's not that big a deal. I don't like the legendary headgear. It fucking clips. The gas mask part like clips through it. And, ugh, it just irritates me. I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay. So we don't have really any outfits for glass. So this might actually not be a bad idea to just run around with it. It'd be cool. You know? It's a rare piece. Alright, now this is actually pretty neat. I like how it's all rusted and has like the zombie shit coming out of it, like the little spikes and stuff. I actually really like this charm. I don't know if I'm going to use it as much. I might use it instead of the spoopy charm that I've been using lately, but I do like this charm a lot. Ooh, what do we got? Alright, so this is for some reason legendary when it's, you know, pretty straightforward. It's probably because it's a little bit different mapping wise to, uh, the outfit. And he is technically in a full, almost CBRN outfit. So it would make sense for this to be uh, an epic for him. I did say legendary, but I meant epic. So I guess that would kind of make sense, in all honesty. Probably won't use it, but it makes sense to have it. It might work with his other weird headgear, too, in all honesty, too. Ooh, what do we got? got who is this tachanka nice i actually might use this one as well but the the japanese one that i have for him is still pretty fucking cool i don't know if i'll actually use it see i can't tell if that's my controller drifting that doing that or if, if it's intentionally supposed to spin like that i hope it's it's intentionally supposed to spin like that and not my controller drifting because sometimes for whatever reason it does drift like that but yeah i i do like this it, you know get some sort of a not really a face reveal, but you get what I'm saying. Kind of a face reveal for Tachanka. I doubt they'll really reveal his face because that mysteriousness about him is really cool. Alright, so this is one thing that a lot of people have been seeking after, I guess. I really liked the zombie outfit that I already have for, so I may not ever use the outfit itself. But the skins, I would actually probably consider using because they're not bad skins from what I heard. I mean, the outfit isn't bad either. I mean, it looks pretty nice. She's not as much of a butterface as she is in her base outfit, but I don't think I'm going to be using either of her elite outfits. Ooh, another legendary. Nice. So this one is a really cool headgear. I actually do really like this. I'm super torn if I want to use this headgear or the one that I have already, which was the one that you guys saw earlier when I had his outfit. So I am definitely torn between that. This is unique. Because it covers his whole face. It's completely black. You can't see anything. It's super cool. And what do we got? Now this is one of the headgear that I have a beef with. Because he's wearing the whole thing underneath that. The whole thing. And you know Fuses has like the big headgear shit. He's got a huge thing of headgear. And he's wearing it underneath it. Now that doesn't make much sense. The face mask bit doesn't make much sense because if, you know, if it's gonna have this thing right here, you're gonna expect it to be mildly bulletproof, you know, like somewhat. So he doesn't really need the face mask, but I guess I kind of understand because they want to keep that like uh, mysteriousness about him. I guess I don't know why. I mean, regardless, it's kind of neat. And I'm curious what that little uh, thing on the top of his head right there is. There somebody in the chat? Or, if you're watching this on YouTube, would be able to let me know what that little thing is on top there. I'm really curious, because it seems to be attached to some sort of battery pack. 
Maybe it's just like a cosmetic function, yeah. But I'm curious, what is its purpose uh, in real life? It's got a lot of little things attached to them there. All right, on to the next one. All right, nice. See, I actually do like this one. Um, not a lot, but I do like it. I like the little tape around the, you know, the the grip there. It's pretty neat. It's a little little details there. See that? That nice uh, matte color finish there. A little bit of a sheen to it. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I might not use it. I might. You know, you, you never know. Ooh. What do we got? I'm probably never going to use this, but I, I do like it. I do like this. On to the next one. Ooh. Toxic grip. See, here's another skin that I do like because it's got the little thing around the, the handle. But I kind of like the Russian one, the, the shuttle one that we got. And I like using that on the shotgun, especially because it's for the Russian ops, you know? So I have, like, the little space capsule. I'll show you guys in a minute. I don't need to, to delve too much into it at this point. Ooh. And what is it? Okay, so this one is the ones that I like. I, I like the little like blood splatter in the front there. That's actually really fucking cool. Um, for this gun, I've normally been running the platinum skin on it because it's got like this nice little like reflective sheen on it, and it's super good looking. But for this, I'm going to probably be using it instead because that looks really nice. Nice little like vein thing right over there in the middle. You see that little vein right above the magazine? That's so nice. I don't know why I keep pointing to the screen. You guys can't see me point to the screen. But you, I'm sure you get what I'm saying. Oops, sorry. I got a, I got a message there. Uh, oh, I did like this charm. This is one charm that I really like a lot. It's the uh, it's the capsule, but with all the spikes shit on it. I have the regular capsule from doing a thing or whatever, but then there's this one too. I didn't mean to back out of that. I was checking a message. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, what do we got? All right. This one I probably won't switch out for the Watchdog skin, because the Watchdog skin is one of my favorites. I mean, I don't even really run the RC4. I like the G36C. For personal reasons, I know that's a very, <gasps> why would you use that gun, you know, type of, you know, claim. But I do like the G36C more than I like this one. But um, it's not a bad skin. It's very colorful, and I like that matte green. I really do. Green's my favorite color, if you guys haven't already noticed. But I like that matte green a lot. Let's see what do we got. Hazmat yellow. Now this is just interesting. Because this can be used for sledge or smoke. I wonder why they didn't just give it for like smoke's shotgun or his uh, his other gun. I guess because other people don't really use the uh, SMG that he has and would rather use SMG 11. I like this. I like using the shotgun SMG 11 more than I like using the... Uh, was it the FMG? FMJ? Whatever his um, other gun is as compared to the shotgun. I like using the shotgun and then this as a combo more than the others. The other gun isn't bad, don't get me wrong. I just like the shotgun more because it's a better uh, tool than a weapon. And if you need it as a weapon, it really helps in close quarters combat. Into the CQC. Now this one's pretty cool too. I know... Uh, one of my buddies, he's Texan. He, he kind of dug into this, I think, a little bit. He really enjoys this charm. I think it's pretty cool. Probably won't ever use it, in all honesty. But it is pretty cool. And then that is all of the Outbreak Packs. We have the full collection now. Every single item. Everything now. Check marks everywhere. Nothing is missing. So this is cool too. This like this full yellow, or it's got like yellow and then that matte green finish to it. 
See? It's pretty neat. I would have preferred to have, you know, Habana's gun or her shoddy have the skin, but, uh, you know, Toxic Grip, not a, on the, uh, the Bearing 9. Not, not too disappointed in that. I do like that gun a lot. Personally, I believe it's better than the, uh, you know, the, ha the, not has many, the SMG-12 or 11. Because this is basically a fucking mini Uzi, just with different attachments on it. That's why it just looks different. But it is basically the mini Uzi with like a compensator on it. So anyway, let's get on with the regular alpha packs, what mostly everyone here is uh, shown up for. Let's see, yep, I have none to purchase. Okay, I just want to be doubly sure because sometimes I have bad anxiety and, you know, second guessing and shit like that. But let's just get right into the meat of this. 53 alpha packs. Oh, so far not so good. That's why we started off well with the Outbreak Packs. What do we get? Skin I'll never use. Alright guys, on to the next one. That's the fucking flower skins. Ooh, a blue! Not bad start, not a bad start. Okay, it's for the Deagle. I don't really use this, um... Well, I guess I do use some of them. I, I like playing Valkyrie and Blackbeard. Now I've grown an acquired taste for them. But I like the elite skin for the Deagle that Blackbeard has, so I'm probably never going to use that. Let's see, what do we got next? Just going to go ahead and open it. And it's... Okay, I mean, it's not a bad skin. You know? It's kind of nice. Look at the Starry Night with the uh, Orion belt in it, with the fucking deer. Or whatever. It's not a bad skin. Probably never going to use it. Because I prefer the command over the AUG, but I love the AUG. Let's see what else we got. It's just going to take a minute to load, I guess. Alright, and... Oh, 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 oh! And I... Okay, we got our first duplicate of the night, guys. Third one in. That's pretty cool. Alright, on to the next one, I guess. And just gonna open it and see what it is. It's a blue. And it's a duplicate. <laughs> okay. Not a great start. It's two duplicates in a row. I don't have most of the items, so that's... That's a very interesting, uh, very interesting circumstance. Very, uh, interesting series of events right there. Let's go ahead and get on to the next one, I suppose. Alright, and what do we got? <laughs> got sunburn. It's not a bad skin in all honesty. I, I can dig it. I can dig it. Like in case I want to just dick around, I could just wear that. I mean, it's not as obvious as most of the other headgear. You're just wearing yellow glasses. I don't really think those are going to stick out too much, but I don't know. This is kind of a neat one. It's made out of snake skin is what it looks like, and it's got like a little a bit of a snake pattern on the eye patch. That's pretty cool. Can't run on that. Can't hate on it. It's uncommon, which is weird. I'd expect that to be rare. Oh, shit. <sighs> Sorry, my glasses are just really dirty right there. That's really not okay. Let's go ahead and just open that in the meantime. Ooh, and another uncommon. Ooh. 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 That looks like an ugly skin. I can't see very well without my glasses on, but that looks like an ugly skin. I could stop spinning for a second there. Yeah, I don't. I really don't like that. That's obnoxious. Woof. That is a loud skin right there. Ooh, purple. What do we got? Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. This is sexy. Look at that. Look at them skulls. Look at that finish. That gold and silver finish. Oof. That is sexy. I'm gonna. Ro I'm definitely rocking that on Capitol. I use him from time to time. Not often. Not often. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a Capitol man. I'm just gonna front about using Capitol a lot. But I really like that. Look at the little skull right there underneath the sight. Oof. I like that a lot. 
that makes up for the two back-to-back -back duplicates. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, man. This is another... Another legendary. Or not legendary, but epic. Damn. Kind of disappointed, because I have the uh, Septicemia skin for the shotgun. That's fine. On to the next one. And... Oh... See, this is what I'm talking about with Ash. She's kind of a butterface. Like, her glasses seem like they're almost glued to her face. And they're not reflective at all. They're very matte colored. Looks like they took all of the detail out of her face from, you know, last season. And left it in her elite outfit. And then made her kind of, you know, goofy looking in this one. I mean, I don't really play Ash too much. But when I do, like, I don't want to look like that in the end screen. No, that's not a bad skin. I can dig this skin. I mean, I probably won't ever use it because I have the division skin on the shoddy, but I can dig it. And I like that nice little reflective uh, part on it. That's cool. That's pretty cool. That's my first actual chibi charm right there, and it's Blackbeard. Nice. Well, the only chibi charms that I have are from either Pro League outfits or from, um, you know, whatever they're called, the uh, the elites, the elite outfits. Those are the only chibis that I have, so this is kind of nice. My first actual chibi. Not bad. What do we got? Ooh. What is it? And it's a duplicate. I think this was actually in my last alpha pack opening this skin. So that's that's uh that's a coincidence and a half right there. All right, and let's just open the next one. Oh, an epic! I actually like this. It's kind of strange with all the gears and shit, but it's it's pretty nice looking. I like it. I can dig it. I might use it. On honesty, I might use this. Right on to the next one. Ooh, blue. What do we got? Gray. I don't have this skin yet. May be useful? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really look any different than the base guns looks, to be honest. But, you know, in case I need something for future ops, I have this now. So that's not bad. Can't complain. Can't be too upset about that. It... Alright, another uncommon. What do we got? Ice. Look at guys, I got an ice skin. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad one, in all honesty. It's just. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> Shit. I thought that water bottle was open. Woo! We're getting a lot of purples today. Triceratops. I know a lot of people do want this charm. I don't really care for it. I mean, I like it, it's cool. Could probably use it on a future op if I feel like it, if I don't have any charms to really use on them. So I'm not mad. I'm cool with this. Ooh, a blue. Nice. Ooh, that snugly skin. Get it out of my face. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I got chills from that. It was, it was, it was so ugly. Oh boy, another Aug skin that I'll never use. Oh, hex yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Common. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, just Hatcher's regular headgear, and I was like, oh yeah, there's some urban camo on it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, another Common. Boy. That is one ugly skin, guys. Ooh. Get that out of here. And another one! Eh, that one's actually not bad. It's got kind of like that, uh... You know, that Dixie Cup aesthetic. You know, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. The, uh... The traditional Dixie Cup design that's like... Oh, that's super nostalgic. That one is aesthetic as fuck. But that's that's the kind of thing that I, the vibe I get from this gun. It's not bad skin at all. Not gonna use it because I have the Watchdog skin, but it's not a bad skin. Ooh, this one's actually kind of nice, in all honesty. 
not going to use it because I have the cool Deagle skin, but that's actually kind of nice. I never looked at this skin before. I actually like that a lot. Not a bad skin for an uncommon. Oh, another common. Get it out of here with the flower looking ass. Get out of here. What's next? Another uncommon. Ugh. It's an ugly one too. Oh boy. Back to back. <sighs> I stay getting stuff from my uh, Navy Seal Ops. Thanks. <laughs> I, I did say that I was starting to use them a little bit more. Now it's like, here you go, here's all the skins for them. Enjoy. Watch it be another skin for them. Oh, nope, it's a, it's a castle headgear. I'm not using that because I got my Far Cry uh, 3 Blood Dragon headgear for them. And I do not intend, do not intend on getting rid of that headgear. It's amazing. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's actually pretty fucking cool. Rookie. I've never seen this skin before. It looks like something that would get out of an Outbreak pack. It's not bad looking, i just never seen it before. It must be new. What's next? Ooh, purple! I actually do really like this skin. It's pretty cool looking, and the gold finish. And it's got kind of like the, uh... What's that? Like a ceramic feel to it? Like it's made out of pottery. Like if you throw the weapon, it fucking shatter. But uh, I have my Pro League skin for that, so I'm not gonna really uh, not gonna give that one up. But it is a nice skin. I I do appreciate that being in the collection in case I feel like being zesty and changing it out. And another ugly skin. Get that out of here. What's next? Ugly skin. Hey, look, it's a. A Navy SEAL skin! Go figure! <laughs> Alright, what do we got next? Oh! Oh! Another common! Okay. This one actually isn't that bad, in all honesty. Twitch's headgears don't tend to be that bad. I could, I could honestly get used to this one. I have a Pro League headgear, so I'm not going to use this, but you know. Oh, 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 it's shit. Get that out of here! Hey, 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 it's an uncommon. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I think my negativity is feeding into the game. Oh boy, a, a duplicate common skin. Oh boy. Ay Dios mio. Oh, what's a blue, boys? What do we got? A duplicate. Fuck. Oh boy. Oh. 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 It's a blue. And it's literally the same thing but twice in a row. What are the fucking chances of that? What are the. Like, actually, the what are the chances of that happening that I get the same thing twice in a row? As a duplicate. Like. What? What? Excuse me? What? And an uncommon. See, some uncommons aren't bad, but... I mean, this one's not bad. I'm never going to use it. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's shit. Don't want to look at it anymore. Get it out of here. Oh. Yeah. Oh boy. Another skin for the deagle. Oh boy. Hey, it's blue. Nice. Nice. And a second chibi charm. It's a dark one too. I like it. I'll be using this for sure. I'll probably put it on uh, maybe his shotgun or his P90. Whichever one, I'm gonna probably use it. I'll probably put it on a shotgun. I'm grateful because I don't like I said before I didn't have any chibi charms until this opening. 
So I'm definitely grateful. Oh. I said I was grateful, guys. Why, why are you doing this? It's a duplicate of one I got in this opening. Oh my god. Oh. At least I get some renown back. Oh boy. Ugh. Ugh. That was an ugly one. Whoop. Ugh. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. What is it? Uncommon. Ugh. I always thought this uh, season's skins were kind of ugly. Because that's like such an ugly shade of green. I love green, like I said earlier, but this, this isn't my favorite. I don't know why. It's just not that great. Like, if it was just that color but like solid or like a digital camo that'd be cool but just with that like splotchy camo doesn't look that great Ooh, blue oh boy it's the headshot me i'm jaeger skin for the headpiece nice i feel like being an asshole maybe i'll have my all black outfit and bright ass orange fucking headgear jesus all right what do we got next Oh. oh, at least it's uncommon. Oh boy, it heard how much I loved the Velvet Shell series skins. So it decided, hey, have another. <laughs> Take one more. You've earned it. Fucking, oh. All right, what's next? Oh, Velvet Shell headpieces. It's like the game knows. It's like it knows. Ooh, boop, 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 boop. I'm pretty sure I have this charm already, but I guess I don't. I I thought I had a pirate charm already, but I guess now I have two. I don't know. I don't I don't know. All right, what do we got? An ugly skin, oh boy. Oh, oh, it's purple. Oh. <sighs> nice. Nice. I may or may not use that. Because I have the other skin that I really like. But I, I do really appreciate this skin. I like it a lot. Like I said before, I love the whole skin thing. Especially the sugar skull style skull right there. That's like my big favorite thing. It's so cool. And then I like that color of, uh, like, bone color. That's what that looks like. It's like a bone gold, or most. I don't even know if it is gold, but it's the color. I just really dig it. End it on me pretending to throw up. You know what? I was going to say, let's, let's, let's buy one, but I was like, eh. We're going to save up for one. So we did talk about the, uh, the dock headgear and shit. How it clips. Now, let's go over to it. And even in the picture there. Even in the picture, you can see it clipping. I mean, look at that. Come on, Yubi. For legendary headgear, come on. I like how they gave him the fucking Operation Health logo thing right there on the top there. Oh, man. Uh, Wait, is it the Operation Health thing? Because I swear it was on here. Yeah, but... It, well, no, it doesn't have the little six on it, I don't think, right? No, okay, so it isn't the Operation Health one. This is the Operation Health one. Right there with that little six. Right there. We're going to stay using the Skull Headgear, obviously. But, as I was saying with the shotgun, I have the random little spoopy thing on there. But we're going to go ahead and replace that with the Doc Chibi Charm. So now I have two... Little Elite Ashes. Elite Ash Chibi and Little Elite Ash. Oh boy. Oh yeah, and I did get the uh, the other charms for everybody here. There's the Blitz one. I don't know what... Oh, there's the Sledge one. Right there. Oh. What the fuck? Okay, right there. 
I was tripping out for a second. I was looking right at it, trying to control the shit. But it was going over to here. But, yeah. Then this is... No, this is the one that we accidentally skipped over here. The little capsule charm with the uh, spike coming out of it. It's pretty cool looking. I actually really like that one a lot. This is the one, one of the ones that I really did want. That one and then the... The spiky six here. I really wanted this one too. I thought it was going to be as big as this. But it's not. Which I'm not mad about it. It's fine. I don't care. But let's find that Doc Chibi. Where are you at, home? Oh, yeah. And I do have all of the Outbreak charms now, too. Like, from doing the challenges and shit. All of them. Every single one. All six. So let's put the Doc Chibi on here. Looking good. Nice. All right. Now we did get the one thing for Bach, if I do remember correctly. So let's go ahead and put that on. Yep, right there. Except to see me in. Looks good with all the attachments we put on it. Big old muzzle brake. I am satisfied with the outlook of this. Let's see what it looks like on Homeboy. Looking good, Buck. Looking good. But we're going to keep with the AR. And then who else did we get stuff for? Ying. We got some stuff for Ying. So we're going to go ahead and change the headgear. So I did buy this originally because it kind of matched. And I didn't have enough um, renown at the time. And I was saving all of my R6 credits for the outbreak packs. So I thought... You know, maybe this would match pretty well. But because I really like this headgear, I'm going to go ahead and wear it. Because it's fucking cool looking. I really like this headgear out of all of the uh, ones in that pack. Besides the smoke one, that one's really fucking cool. I mean, let's go ahead and just throw this on and see what she looks like. I mean, it's a cool outfit and a cool aesthetic. But I'm going to keep the Blossom one because, I mean, it's still got the gold on it. So it kind of matches a little bit. So I'm definitely not gonna you know get rid of it and i really love this skin on the lmg but i do have all these other skins on it for or available for now like the hazmat yellow one retro steel outbreak code red and the rusty trigger which looks really cool i really love the rusty trigger one because it's just a rusty version of this base one here but this one obviously looks a lot more battle worn and i really like that feel to it but this one is just beautiful, and it really matches her outfit. And I like to have matching stuff, because I'm... I don't know, I guess I'm fucking weird. Like, all my weapons for Legion are some kind of green. Wait, is she clipping on that? Oh, she's clipping in it. Oh no, I didn't notice that. That's gonna bug me, because I really like that headgear. Mm, I wish I didn't notice it. Okay, so we did get some new shit for Lion. And we're going to definitely change the charm on this real quick, though. Because we did originally have the spoopy charm. But now that we have the rest of the charms, we're going to go ahead and put those on it. Um, Let's go ahead and put this right there, because it matches the feel of the weapon. And Let's see, what else? I wanted to show you guys the capsule charm that I had. Right here, this is the capsule charm, in case I didn't show it to you guys before. But that's the one that I have on the Russian shotties. Because, you know, it, it's a capsule. That's what the skin's based off of. I just thought that was a cool little combination of things. You know, like I said, I like to have matching aesthetics for weapons, outfits, charms, blah, 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 blah. Like for the outbreak ones, you know. Got the outbreak guys I really like the uh, the charm on this skin because it just looks cool looks like he's like 
clinging on to it. I don't know why, it just looks cool to me. Then I have the Apex on this one. Because I I love the Apex. It's weird charm because it like doesn't have any legs or whatever. And I thought it was going to be like little tendrils. And then it, like the whole body would bobble around the tendrils. Because that would have been cool. But I'm not upset about this. It's still pretty cool looking. It's got like the little aura. And I'm sure it glows. So that's pretty cool. Let's check out the new uniform we got for him. That is bright as hell. May or may not use that. I like the outfit for Finca that we got. But it is so bright too. I don't know. I just think it matches better than it does with this. Because this is just such a weird color scheme. And I don't know. I don't feel like it matches her headgear. And I, I didn't like that. I tried running it for a while. Like you saw that it was on like rubber gloves. But like Nintendo Power Glove, especially the one on her left hand, looks like Nintendo Power Glove. I fucking love it. And this one just looks like he's wearing like rubber gloves on this outfit. This is such a weird gas mask right here too. It just looks so goofy, like a duck bill kind of. But yeah, it looks like like doctor gloves, you know? Like look at they're even shiny like them. It's so goofy. I prefer the black ones. Because they got like knuckles and shit. And they don't look weird. These ones look like surgical gloves. I mean, if we're going to do anything with surgical gloves, you got to keep it to your boy Doc. You know what I'm saying? What else did we get? We got the things for Zofia, right? Let's check that out. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Let's see what it looks like on her completely. And then uh, we'll decide if we want to run it like this. Let's see. That The fucking muffin thing on top of her head just really throws it off for me, dude. So I don't know if I'm going to run that. I think I'm just going to keep her on a regular shit. Wait a minute. Let me... <laughs> I can't. Oh, God. You know what? I think we're going to keep the headgear just because it looks fucking goofy. It's going to fuck with the aesthetic. So I don't know. Yeah, I think we're not going to do that anymore. Like, because she wears her beret underneath the fucking thing. And it's like, why? You don't need to. You don't need to wear that underneath your fucking, you know, headgear. You don't need to. Um, we got some more shit for a lot of people. Uh, we got the shit for Twitch. Uh, I felt like I was going to explain another thing. Yeah, see the Deagle skin? I like that skin on the Deagle. Not going to trade that out. Mm -mm. I don't know if we got anything else for anybody worth trading stuff out for. I can probably show you the skin on the Watchdogs gun that I really like. I, I just really love this design for the skin. Like, look at the little details. They're all yellow on the inside. It's like the crossfade skin where, like, every little in-between spot is colored with the yellow. I really dig that. But this skin, woo! This is the one that I like. Me likey. The fucking weird, like, actual skin skin. So I'm going to definitely just keep my zombie outfit. Not going to use these ever, probably. I honestly think this one is ugly because of the fucking camo on it. It's like, ugh. Let's see. Oh fuck, I didn't want that. I want to just check out the skins. So this is an ugly skin. I fucking hate it. Now this is what I wanted to look at. 
The grip is nice. I like the grip. Okay. So, let me see what that looks like on her. Let's see if that looks any better. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's clipping a little bit in her own fucking holster there, but what can you do? I didn't design the game. Okay, so... Uh, I think we got everything set up for everybody that we would kind of use. 